Hello everyone, I'm back with another re uh, review of the Swamp Cooler. This one is made by uh, Whirlpool. I'm gonna put exact model in the descri description. I would say this is about medium size. Um, I actually bought this one used um, on Amazon. And um, honestly, this is this is one of my favorites, probably the favorite I, ha uh, I used so far. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why in a couple minutes, but this is just um, how it looks. You know, I'm try to, try to go around so you guys can see, you know, from top to bottom and on the back. Um, this is the water, you know, once you add water. This is one of those where it clearly uh, shows you how much you, water you have. Some of the other ones, it's very hard to tell if it's, you know, if it's max, medium, or um, low. But this one, you can clearly tell once you add water. Um, so this one, <coughs> this one comes with three speeds, um, and it comes with three modes. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that in a bit. Let me just add some water. Let me show you how to add water. So what you're gonna do is on the bottom, uh, there's a little latch. So you move that, and then you just pop this out. Now it's very, very. <laughs> I don't know why they made it like that. It's pretty hard to remove the whole thing. So uh, what I usually do, I just add the water um, like this. It's gonna go through the hole but you can't remove the whole bucket it just takes two hands and it's you know i don't know why they made it so hard but um so you definitely gotta do this uh while the fan is not working because it's gonna beep and shut off so this is you know the other ones i had you, you could uh you know you can at least open it but this one it does have a feature where it's gonna shut off if you try to open this um so i'm gonna try adding some water I usually put my water in the freezer so it gets uh, pretty cold. I notice it does give off a much colder breeze if you do that. All right, so now that we got that done, you just push it back in. And also, once you can, uh, once you pop up the whole bucket, you can add ice packs. You can even add some ice cubes, but uh, like I said, I bought this one used and it didn't come with the remote or the ice packs. Uh, but it does work and I got a pretty good deal on it so I'm not you know I didn't complain or anything or try to return it because like I said I got a good deal on it so I don't care about the ice packs so here we go this is uh, I, this is um, something I prefer when um, I noticed this on a couple of those foam coolers where the fans actually close once you shut it off they close so it doesn't gather dust which is a feature I really really love and another feature I love about this one because the fans are actually on the top portion and not like on the bottom, like some of them or on, on the middle. This one's are more on the top. And I'll show you why I love it because um, let me let me turn it on and then you guys are gonna see how they open up. The only thing I wish they did was uh, save the feature. So once you shut it off, I wish uh, it would stay at the position where, you know, where you shut it off, like once you turn it on, it will stay on the same position, but it doesn't. So now this one has swing up and down. So what it's gonna do is just gonna, uh, you know, push the air up and down basically. I don't use this feature often. I just leave it on once. So if you want to leave it in a certain position, you just press that button again, and it's going to stay at that position. Then you also have swing left to right. So basically, you know, it's going to move here left to right. I noticed on this one, it does work, but it doesn't do it as good because I, I'm assuming the because of the lowers are pretty small. Let me show you guys. So you can see they're moving, but because they're very small, it doesn't do as good of a job. Um, I would assume on a much higher speed, like on a third speed, it would be much more noticeable on the first speed, not that much. <clears throat> but anyways, if you wanted to stop at a certain spot, you just press this button. I usually keep it in the middle. So now, uh, so you have swing up and down, swing left to right. Then you also have a timer, it goes up to eight hours. So it goes one, two, four, eight. 
Then this is the feature cool, which is where it activates the pump and um, that's where the water is, um, uh, pump, pumps the water from the bottom and drips it over the honeycomb filter. And that's what's gonna give it that cool breeze. What I usually do is uh, I let the pump run for maybe like 20 minutes, let the filter soak, then I turn it off, let it run another 20, 30 minutes. And um, that way, you know, you're not putting a lot of pressure on the pump and you know, you don't want it to burn out. That's just the way I do it. And I noticed, you know, if I do it that way, it's um, same um, breezy air throughout the day. And also this one has three different modes. This is gonna be, I believe the first one is just regular mode. And then you have natural mode or nature mode, I should say. Nature mode is the one where like it controls the speed. So it's gonna be like for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, it's gonna be very fast speed. And then it's gonna lower the speed and it's gonna keep moving this. So it's gonna make it like it's natural breeze, you know? sometimes a little bit uh, higher output air, sometimes lower. I don't use that one either. I just keep it on the regular. And then you have sleep mode. Sleep mode uh, is just uh, the fan works a little bit at a higher speed than it lowers it. And uh, I believe every 30 minutes it lowers the speed until it just shuts off by itself. And then you have, this is the button you press with different speeds. It has three, three speeds. First one is the one I love the most because it's not it's not loud. So I can put it in front of me while I watch TV or even asleep. It doesn't bother me at all at all. I can watch TV. That's the that's the reason why I do love this fan the most. Because it does have the best output of air. And it actually it has like I noticed on this one, I, I'm not sure um, why, but this one has like the coldest breeze. But I've been doing the same thing with the other ones. But this one really does have like the coolest breeze, which I was very surprised because the reviews weren't that cool. But people mostly buy them in the East Coast, which these, uh, these swamp coolers are meant for um, places with high humidity. So if you live in Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, that's, you know, it's the best place for this kind of cooler. So let me show you the second speed. Second speed is noticeable, like you can hear it. It's not as annoying as some other ones, but it's definitely more noticeable. But if you put it like in a little bit of a, you know, corner and you're doing something in the kitchen, it's not gonna bother you. And it has a pretty good output of air. I can feel it pretty good and I'm like, what am I, like five, six feet away, maybe more. And I can feel it, like it's really, it's really blowing on me. And then you have third speed. Third speed, I would say, um, let me just turn it to a first. I say first speed, you probably, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I meant third speed, you probably want to use it if you're not in the room. Like, for example, if you want to put it in the bedroom, turn it on a um, couple hours before so the room cools down. Then you get in, lower it to the first speed. That's the way I would use it. But some people, the noise doesn't bother them, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, personal preference how you know which speed they want to use but for me I'm a little bit noise conscious so I usually just leave it on the first speed so that's about it if you guys have any questions make sure you post them in the comments I'll reply as soon as I can but that's my review of the Whirlpool Swamp Cooler I'll post the description in the title so that's about it let me go one more one more time around so you guys can see. And yeah, this is the, I never mentioned, but this is, you know, the air filter. So the dust can get in, it has this little things. Um, somebody asked me how you clean this. So you basically you take this out, this would be the air filter. And this one you only wash under the cold water or, yeah, I would say cold water, not even warm. Because it, it might gather some dust, depending you now if, you, if your uh, house is dusty or not. And so you take this off. Uh, under this, it's a honeycomb filter. That one you can wash it with warm water, a little bit of um, dish detergent, and uh, and then make sure you wash it out, and then you just let it um, let it dry, and then you pop it back in. Basically, it's washable, so you don't need to buy them and replace them, which is really 
really nice thing and um, this one isn't heavy at all as you can see here it's about what is it about 16.8 16.8 pounds which is not and it also has i haven't mentioned it, most of them have the same things for um for cast reveals so you can push it if you can carry it it does have a big uh, handle usually what i do I, I put my hand here and then i put one on the bottom and that's how i carry it i feel like that's the safest way i don't push it around because the cast reveals are small and on the carpet they can get a little bit stuck you know so i just pick it up it's not heavy if you can of course you can push it um but yeah that's my uh that's my review oh my god it blows like such a cool breeze and um i i don't know if i have mentioned this but i live in las vegas where it gets really really hot so some people ask me like is this gonna replace your ac um no it won't if the temperature outside is 90 95 it might replace it it will cool it down but if the temperature is over 100 no it won't replace it but what it will do you, know, you won't have to run your ac more like for example if i run my ac in uh, let's say in four hours i usually would have to turn it on at least four times but with this i would turn it on twice so i don't know if that makes sense but definitely gonna turn it on much less and save some electricity this one that I, i'm not sure how many watts i don't have my um manual with me but it's very low i don't think this one pushes uh, uses more energy than like one of those bigger uh regular fans uh, most of those swamp coolers don't use much electricity so you you're saving a lot of money if you're using this instead of your ac but um all right thank you guys for watching and uh leave any comments and um you know press like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one